Okay, what is GMO food? GMO food is foods that's been engineered to basically hurt you. Yes, they will tell you it's been engineered to grow better and in har harsher conditions to help people. That is not the case. GMO food has been engineered to hurt you. Some produce infertility in others. Some produce uh, different symptoms. However, now they have a new thing called RNA interference. RNA interference is advanced, is more advanced than GMO engineering. What RNA interference means is that basically they can grow foods or make you grow foods that are there to kill you. You have to stop fertility to literally kill you, okay? That is what RNA interference is. There's a new thing now with the RNA um, technology that everyone's bragging about. That's what the vaccine is. It's RNA technology, and that's why everyone's all excited about it. But make no mistake, RNA interference, RNA technology is very dangerous, and it's being used as a biological weapon. It's been used as a weapon... Um, it's been weaponized. RNA technology has been weaponized against the people, whether you want to call it vaccines or whether you want to call it GMO food, it's been put into the foods to hurt you. Take a look at this video. Tell me what you And the lab science director, I know a thing or two about food science. Now, what they have invented, when I say they, I'm talking about the genetic engineers, not only have they found a way to put these genetically engineered traits into food crops, they've now found a way to cause food crops to grow RNA fragments that can be specifically targeted like bioweapons to interfere with the physiological processes of targeted species that might eat the food. Now this technology is called RNA interference technology. It's relatively new uh, compared to GMOs, relatively new. It's being touted now as a technology to eliminate the use of pesticides because what they're saying is they can cause a corn crop to grow RNA fragments that will kill the insects that eat the corn without having to use pesticides like toxic chemicals that overload the insect nervous system and kill it from the nervous system breakdown and so on. This RNA interference technology is a pesticide technology, but it doesn't rely on pesticide chemicals. It relies on RNA fragments in the food. Now, what's disturbing about this is that this technology can be fine-tuned to target a specific race of humans who eat the food. I want you to follow me very carefully on this because most people have never heard of this before. They've never heard of this technology. They don't know it can be targeted by race. Food crops can be engineered right now based on existing technology to cause infertility in black people alone. That technology is a reality. It's actually, it's widely covered out there in the mainstream media, in the science media, RNA interference technology is widely covered. The government is at war with you. If you're, if you're black and you're watching this, the government is at war with you and they want you exterminated and they control the science funding, which means there will never be money for any genetic science of the food supply to uncover this truth if it were there. It would be covered up like everything else has been covered up this entire time. Just like the Tuskegee experiments covered things up in the 1930s. Nothing has changed except the technology is more advanced. The covert technology is more covert. The number of vectors through which they can kill you and cause you to have no children, cause you to have spontaneous abortions, the number of vectors is increasing. You are being targeted. And like I said earlier, to some extent we're all being targeted. But black people are being targeted more than anyone else.